Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Wild Arms 3 and recording it all on VHS, and I forgot that I saved here. So, uh, we have two more things on our uh, checklist before moving on. Um, we have just two little things to do. We need to stop at uh, Little Rock. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Why did I save here? Oh, this looks right. Leave me alone. Um, so, yeah, we need to go to Little Rock, and we need to go back to Laxus Land, and then we're going to start hunting for the Deus Ex Machina. Did we make it? Did we make it out? Hooray. All right. So, um... Let me remember that I have this teleport orb... So, Little Rock, we just need to, like, throw a change crest to add a thing. Uh, we should also check in at Claiborne. I don't think I've done that one yet. Yep. I guess we've done this one. Alright. Or was it in a cave? Hmm. Let me just check the notes. Uh, would have been a brown bird in Little Rock, and that's all it says. So, eh, I'll assume we got it. Uh, Clayborn. Clayborn? Clayborn. Oh, wow, that effect really struggled for whatever reason loading in here. Go into town, please. Okay, it was not Claiborne that I was thinking of. What was I thinking of that is not... Um... Do, do, do. Humphrey's Peak is the one that I was thinking of. Wow, why does it struggle so hard on that? Oof, oof. That is hard to look at. Ah, oh, jeez. What the heck? Alright. Humphrey's Peak was the one I was thinking of. We're all good, I guess, so... <laughs> um... Oof. Wow. What? Are you doing alright, PS2? Is this... Is it just like... Oh, jeez. Oh, there's the wobbly map. Please, please stop. Okay. Let me figure out where I'm going exactly, and then go through that menu real fast, because that was just jumping pixels. We're gonna head back to Laxus Land. Oh, come, what the... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Are you doing all right, PS2? Is, is ugh, ugh. Hopefully this is actually like showing up so I don't just sound, you know, like I'm making things up. But yeah, there's something weird going on visually. Okay, so yeah, I never did hit the... Uh, what do I need to hit? There you are. One holy root. And apparently while I'm here, I should go upstairs. Nope, she's not here. Okay, I wonder if... I have done something wrong or just missed her at some point, but supposedly Martina was going to be upstairs. I think that's that girl that I've just kind of seen traveling around. Um, and yeah. Uh, da, 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 let's. All right, well, that's the end of the list. 
So, onward, into the sky to chase an invisible object. Now, supposedly... There it is, there it is. That's the one. The wizardly stealth deployed around Deus Ex Machina is gone. You can now infiltrate their base. Real quick, how we do? We got full health, not quite full vitality. Uh, heck, let's just do it. <laughs> the growth level of the nano machines have only surpa now surpassed seventy. We still need to buy a little more time for them to fully mature. Losing the Yggdrasil's generator has been quite a setback for us. Hmm, the Yggdrasil system. Has the downloading procedure used to summon me ever been used before? No, sire. We are the only ones capable of performing the download. I see. So the technology of Hades cannot be applied by one who does not comprehend Hades. Then, who could it be? Could a human have analyzed Hades? Or could it have been someone else of my race? If no other demons aside from myself were summoned, then that means this person descended to Fiddle Gaia by their own power through Hades. Could that be possible? One must have their personal data stored within Hades to do that. Is everything alright, sire? What would happen if someone of my ilk possessed the ability to exist within Hades without supplying his personal data? Capable of concealing himself within Hades by transmitting electric signals through his own will? Or perhaps... <laughs> I was about to make that same comment. Couldn't we have just landed normally? Hey, we're all in one piece, right? Ew, what is that? Virginia's voice is off today. If this really is the nanomachine plant, then it must be. Nanomachine compounds which threaten the life of Vilgaia. We can't let Vilgaia fall to this nasty, moldy little thing. Come on, everyone, let's go. It still feels off, but... Alright. Um... Cool, we are here. <laughs> Ooh, this is a new track? Seriously, the music in this game has been just stellar. Okay. Uh, lasers? Okay, that is in fact doing nothing. Bombs work. Hmm. Nope. Yeah. 
let's just change my position. Is there a reason for this? Or is it just like a nice little refill chance? Okay. Hmm. Let me just walk off the ledge there. Not gonna make it. Okay, so they are in fact not all out all at once. Can't make that jump. Might be able to freeze them though. Let's try that. Yep. Close enough. Device keeping that door shut, which means up here is probably a thing. mention it for a while, but I do really kind of like just like the single room design sort of stuff. Like it is, it's really self-contained and It's, it presents things as like a small, like small enough puzzles to grasp. It's in a way very like Zelda-esque, like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I mean by that. Such a being exists. We called them dream demons. Dream demons? Like demons inside your dreams? The structure of the information library Hades is like a sea of electric signals. Its motif stems from the domain of the mind created by people's consciousness. The dream demons once said they can exist inside the information library. However, these dream demons with no physical makeup can still exist within people's consciousness, and even their dreams. They are capable of making every possible sea of electric signals their own world where they exist. Then... You think they may be inside the information library? Fear not. They only exist within the sea of electric signals, whereas I am here. They are not a threat to me. Very well, sire. My wish is to ride the starship Filgaia, searching the frontier for battle. Right now it is the humans within the Guardian's power that stand in my way. Eliminate the intruders at once.
Maya, thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> Thanks, but for your... Well, what is... I... Thanks for your concern, but I'm fit as a fill. So, are you here to see me knock off the bad guy? Uh, no. I just wanted to return this to you. Hey, this is... Hm. That was awfully thoughtful of you. Simple thanks would, be, would have been nice, but we have more important things to worry about. If you're looking for a fight, I wouldn't mind helping. Why not? We could use your help, Maya. Ooh, Maya's voice is rough today, apparently. <laughs> There was just that one door we came in. Yep. Hmm. Technology, you say? The Deus Ex Machina's main control panel. The Deus Ex Machina is controlled by the main panel, which is connected to the sub panel. We have a door over there, and that's the only door. How kind. I probably need those for a puzzle. This panel seems to be connected to that big one in the other room. Let's go back there. Yeah, her voice is rough today. I don't know. I don't know. We'll operate the main panel. You guys play long... Let's try that again. You guys play around with the sub panel. Hurry along. But then... Don't get me wrong, I haven't the slightest intention of making you guys into heroes. Or are you saying you want me to walk around this dingy, moldy, stinking place? Fine. Watch your backs, but you guys be careful too. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. You have me and my sister to back you up. <laughs> Dispersing your offense. Try that again. Dispersing your offense ain't necessarily a smart thing to do. Oh, offense. Okay. <laughs> uh, but in our case, I think it's better we wage our own guerrilla warfare. What? You doubt my intelligence? I'll figure this control panel out. Thank you kindly for trusting us. We will not fail you. Uh, whose voice? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh. Uh, this is probably mine. I figured out the release code for the shorter, but the code is only valid for 10 seconds, so you'll have. That's how long you'll have to input it. I'll relay the, quo uh, the code from here, so enter it quickly and precisely. Okay, you are you ready? Uh. R2, L1, try Alright, right, I appreciate that they left that on screen for me. Okay. <laughs> mm Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, um... We have, what, three very large ones, one small one. If we put a big, big, big small goes here. I can only push. Yeah, sure, fine. Oh. Okay. Seriously. Can I not give this thing a push?
Hmm. Alright, let's just get this moved out of the way. There we go. Small block, you're in the way. And apparently I can't push you any closer to the door, so come with me. Alright, we need to move this over here. Small block, you need to not get trapped over this way, so time to scoot you around. Can I push this block though? Yes. Okay. Everything is fine. And that's how you push blocks. And there's this little fall area over here in case you need to reset the room, which I appreciate. Okay, uh, we've got blocks, we've got switches, we've got a boomerang. Okay. reset this. <laughs> that did not reset it. If I leave the room and come back, will that reset it? Yes. Okay, so, welcome to the Order of Operations puzzle. There we go. <laughs> Didn't see that switch in the back there. I do wonder what sort of enemies I'm not fighting. <laughs> okay, we're fighting a boss, I guess. Oh. Okay, you're big and Fafnir. That is not quite worrisome. Um, okay, cool. What do I want to do? I want... Let's just do the standard start. You know, the longer I leave Aqua, uh, I forget the last word, the water um, thing. Let me just forget every word related to this game. <laughs> um, all right, you are weak to, I believe, no, that's not water, it's wind. Okay. Anyway, I kind of think I should... Is it Aqua Wisp? Uh, whatever it is that... Oh, hey, that's poison for and not great. Um, cool. This just got a lot more interesting.
Mediums. That's the word. It is, in fact, Aquas. The longer I leave this on Gallows, the more I think I should probably just, like, throw it onto Virginia or something and give him... Probably... Hope? Sure? Eh. I don't know. Like, it feels like I really do need to just get into the habit of completely shuffling around things in every fight, and that... Like, as much as I personally enjoy that sort of menuing in a game, again, I, I'm speaking over a menu, a menu as I explain this. I don't think it makes for a great Let's Play, and that's kind of a problem when I'm 89 episodes into a Let's Play. Anyway, what am I trying to do? I wanted to get Gale Claw. Do I care to move Gale Claw over? Nah, let's not. Let's just shoot the thing. I'm running low on those lucky cards. Do, do, yep, you just shoot, and you... Let's just make it weak to... Water. Jet, jet, jet. You just do a shoot. Oh yeah, it kind of feels like I should shift everything over so that at the start of combat... Hot dang. Um... At the start of combat, Gallows would have, like, all of the boosty type things so that we can just, like, get everybody hypered and permanence and, I don't know, just do that. <laughs> Alright, people are starting to hurt a little bit. It's fine. Good to know that it seems to be targeting Gallo specifically because he's hitting its weakness. Oh good. <laughs> the bad stuff is gone. Alright. Cool, I have 22 potion berries. Uh, I thought I was down to like 10 <laughs> again, still. Yeah, sure, let's just heal everyone. You reload, you do a shoot, and you just keep on doing the thing. Could save my potion berry, I guess. Do, do. Hooray! A level for Gallows. <laughs> level 64. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, tell you what, let's go ahead, call this an episode now. This is probably like the halfway point of the dungeon, I would hope. Um, we'll find out. Next episode is episode 90. 90 episodes. I've been playing this game for almost a year. Uh, like, it's a good game. Like, the, the thing that... It's just, it's taken me a year to get this far, and I'm almost at the end of chapter, <laughs> chapter 3 of 5. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, especially if you've been here the entire time. <laughs> I've been Bryce, this has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.